Hey 3C students, it's Joe. I'm currently down here in Alabama, although with this palm tree behind me and this wind that is blowing, it may seem as if I'm in Florida somewhere or in the Caribbean on some nice island. I am not. I'm quarantined just like the rest of you guys. So please excuse the wind. Nothing I could do about it. Um, before I go any farther, I just want to say I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I just want to take a quick second to just honor Chuck and Virginia and their leadership during this time and all that they're doing to make sure that, yes, we're staying physically distant, and but we're staying spiritually connected. Um, and it's through platforms and opportunities such as this that we can stay connected. So I just want to thank you guys again for all that you're doing. Crazy times we're living in. Uh, no one expected us to have our lives canceled. Sports canceled, graduations canceled. Literally our lives are pulled on a screeching halt. Um, but it's in times like this that I believe that God truly wants to meet with us and he wants to have encounters with us. And this is illustrated in the life of Moses found in Exodus. So if you want to turn there with me to chapter 3, that's what we'll, we'll be uh, diving in. But before we dive in, I just want to establish a little bit of context. Moses, at this time, he has killed an Egyptian and he's on the run for his life because the Pharaoh at the time found out about it and wanted him killed. So understandably, he ran to the land of Midian, which is in the desert. And he began what he thought was going to be his new life as a shepherd until he had an encounter with God. So jumping into chapter 3, verse 1, it says, One day Moses was tending to the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led the flock far into the wilderness and came to Sinai, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the middle of the bush. Moses stared in amazement. Though the bush was engulfed in flames, it didn't burn up. This is amazing, Moses said to himself. Why isn't that bush burning up? I must go see it. When the Lord saw Moses coming to take a closer look, God, God called to him from the middle of the bush. Moses, Moses, here I am, Moses replied. Do not come any closer, the Lord warned. Take off your sandals, for you are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord told him, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians, to lead them out of Egypt into their own fertile and spacious land. Jumping down to verse 9, it says, Look. The cry of the people of Israel has reached me, and I have seen how harshly the Egyptians abused them. Now go, for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must lead my people Israel out of Egypt. It was in a place of abnormality, in a place that was not normal, a place that wasn't nice. A desert's not nice if you didn't know. It's hot, it has bugs, lots of insects, scorpions, snakes. It's, it's not a place. No one, I've never heard anyone be like, hey, we should go vacation in the desert. Or hey, we should go hang out in a desert. That's just, that's just not a thing, because desert's not a cool place. It's not a normal place. Um, but Moses finds himself in this place, and that's where God finds him and has an encounter with him. And I believe that God wants to do that in our lives. I believe that in this time, this time that's not normal, this time that has all of our lives on hold, because it is not normal for us to be in our houses for weeks on end. That is not normal. Um, it's April. What's normal now is uh, football, spring football, baseball, track. What's normal now is graduations. We're not having that. It's not a normal time. But I believe that God wants to have encounters with us. So you might have the question of how, how can we stir this up in my life? How, how can I go about meeting with God and how can God meet with us? I want to give us three practical ways to answer that question. Three practical ways that we can uh, set up times in our lives to have encounters with God where we can meet with him and he can meet with us during this time that's not normal. The three ways we can meet with God is through worship, through reading the word, and through prayer. And all these can be done and should be done together. Now, before I go any further, uh, it's not going to be a thing that takes four hours, five hours, six hours. It can start as something that's small. But it's important to know that it's going to be a discipline before it's going to be a delight. It's going to be something that you have to do before you're going to want to do it. Um, and this was very true in my life. When I first started out, uh, it wasn't something that I really wanted to do, but it's something that I did. And through time, it grew into something now that I love and now I recognize that I need. So, I encourage you guys, I want to uh, leave this uh, brief way that you could do this. It's really easy. Start, start simple. Start five, 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 five. I'll call it the five, five, five. Fifteen minute rule. Five minutes of worship, so that could be your favorite worship song. Five minutes of reading the word, like we just did. That could be through a devotional, like Kaylin alluded to in the last video. 
And then the final thing is five minutes of prayer. That's a good place to start out. Uh, do those every single day. Start implementing that in your life and watch what God does. Watch what God begins to stir up as you begin to set up time and spaces in your life to meet with him and he can meet with you praying for you guys again i love you guys let's be i challenge us 3c students let's be students that set up spaces in our lives to have encounters with god daily love you guys stay clean wash your hands